Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. And over there, we have John Lewandowski. Hey. How's it going, John? Pretty good. Hey, it could be better over here. It's been a long day. Yep. <laughs> All righty. Speaking of long days for us, it's been kind of a long one, too. As far as our podcast goes, we have a lot of things going on. Speaking of a lot of things going on, could y'all make a lot of things go on for our sponsor, Hockey Locker? Go over there, give us some support. Hockey Locker is located at 2002 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 448007585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Um, they will fit you for all your hockey needs, but let's get into why we're here. Why we're here is, you know, this week I've been waking up pretty early, expecting something to happen. Right. I didn't do that today. I wake up because my phone's ringing off the hook. My phone vibrated off the table by the bed. <laughs> oh wow! That's what woke me up. It hit the floor, and it woke me up. <laughs> and uh, everybody and their mother was trying to tell me that there was rumblings of a tray between the Predators and the King. Well, I woke up, yeah. I, look, I get the call, I answer, everybody's trying to get a hold of me and tell me. Well, I look into it. Okay, there's some rumblings, okay. I normally don't take anything serious. And then uh, Pierre Lebron of TSN said something. And then I'm like, okay, that's more than a rumbling. Yeah. TSN, when it comes to hockey, they are on it. It does not yes. what time of day, what time of night. They're on it. If it's two in the morning, they're on it. Those guys don't sleep over there. And no. thank you, because that's where I get a lot of my stuff from. Yeah. Sorry about that, folks. If you had caught the little bit of that, I had to stop our video. Somebody has allergies. So, sorry if I sound a little off today. I'm really battling an allergy problem um, with the temperature going like this. It, and all the rain and everything's really bothering me. So, and also, if you see us go like this every once in a while, or like that every once in a while, we are watching the Bucks game. Go Bucks! Hopefully, yeah. you guys could uh, take a lead in the series. Um, right now, uh, currently they're winning ninety three seventy eight. So, uh, go Bucks! But like I was saying beforehand. Yep. Uh, the Preds were making a, were going to make a trade. Well, the trade ended up being Victor Arvidsson. Um, Arvi carries a four million dollar cap hit. Yeah. All right. So with that four million dollar cap hit off the books, the Preds going into free agency right now at this exact moment have twenty two point eight five eight in the cap. With that being said, if Johansson or Duchesne leave, you're looking at $30 million in cap open. Yeah. There's a lot you could do with $30 million in cap. Oh, yeah, there, are, there certainly is. I'm sorry, there's not a player in the NHL that won't sign. You know, you offer OV $10 million, he'll come your way. All right, yeah. No matter how much you, you know, he may want to stay with Washington, there's a lot of money there. Problem is, yeah. you know, we side guys like Echo, Fabro, uh, Tolvanen. Tolvanen's an RFA, so you could just slap the tag on him and say, here's what, uh, two billion for two years. You'll be an RFA afterwards. We'll go to arbitration, see where you're at. So there you can play it a little safe. You got to, you know, um, got to be a little careful there with how much you're paying these guys. But I would really right. them to pay guys like Paula and Mikel Granlin. Those guys, I could see them paying to come back. Right. Where, you know, if, if uh, Duchesne or Johansson leave. Now, as far as protecting, I can see them protecting Johansson. I can see him protecting Forsberg. I can see him protecting Kunin. I can see him yeah. Dark Croc. I can, you know, there's a lot I can see him doing. 
Right. You also got to pay Olivier. You got to pay uh, Saros and Pekka. And Saros is going to want what Pex had, and Pex is going to want what Saros was getting paid. If that comes back that way, right, that's perfectly fine. Uh, Lucas Visa's <clears throat> contract. He's out of here. He can't stay healthy. Yeah. Uh, we're on the final year of paying uh, uh, Steven Santini. Even though it's 275000 you're good on that note of what you got to pay them. Um, average age of this team as it sits is 27. Okay. On the roster statistics, signing bonuses are around $15 million. So we're looking at that. Um, also looking at some of the free agents and minors, you, we're looking at an all-new team. Uh, uh, Richard's got to be resigned. Pitlick's got to be resigned. They'll resign Pitlick. Wilkins, Tanner, Janot, he'll be resigned. Yeah. Lucas Craig's Cole Smith, they got to be resigned. Uh, Allard, he'll be resigned. Davies will be re-signed. I think they let Louis Kidd go and look elsewhere. Um, we only issue we don't have is goaltending. And right. I mean, in the NHL, that's a that's a gray area. But here's what Nashville got: they got LA second, which as it currently sits, um. That's a top 50 pick. Yeah. They have three picks in the top 50. Okay. So you're talking our first and the two seconds. Right. Top 50. And the top 50 is where you find your role players. Yeah. Third, fourth, and fifth round, sixth round even, you're looking for your diamond in the raw. Right. So, and trust me, when it comes to the draft, we're all going to be here covering it and going, what the heck are you thinking? But then we'll see him play and we'll change our tune. Yeah. As far as Arvidsson goes, he's 28 years old, has a history of injury ever since Steve Bortuzzo hit. Um, right. He has a good work ethic, works hard, does, does well on the defensive side on an average night. But the one thing I wanted to talk about was since 2017-2018, in 2017-2018, he had 29 goals, 32 assists, 61 points. Okay? That's a good year for most players. All right? Yeah. Next year, he played 58 games, 34 goals, 14 assists, 48 points, plus 12. Still a good year. Especially if you're injured. Right. All right. The next year, 28 points. The next year, this last season, he had 25. Right. With all of that being said, the 35-point the drop, or 30, yeah, 35, 36 points, sorry, 36. 36, points, yeah. 36-point drop from 2017 to 2021, or 2018 to 2021 is unacceptable from a player getting paid $4 million. Yeah. Because you got to prove that you're worth more than the $4 million the next time your contract comes up. Right. He could go and look at his first year into the contract and go, look, I scored you 60 goals. And not do a thing after that, but still get paid a good chunk of money. Yeah, right. Look at how that worked out for Buffalo with Hakposo. <laughs> yeah. But with that being said, I can see Nashville making some moves soon and, and trying to get some stuff together. Um, Nashville's trying to get younger, faster, healthier. Yep. Arvidsson was not helping that process. Now, looking at it from a perspective of the draft, Okay, so we're looking at – 
All right, so we're looking at, we're picking 18. At the 18th slot, just alone, is Carson Kuhlman, a defenseman. Now, will okay. it, who knows? Will it too already be there? Who knows? Will uh, Fedor Svechnikov be there? Who knows? Uh, um, you know, will Sebastian Corsa be there? Who knows? Right. You know, uh, will will uh, Danelle Sychuk Sychuk be there? Who knows? You know, we don't know in in overall of all of that. What we do right. know. Is that in the top first round this year? It's really hard to draft this year. Your top yeah, it really is when you have minimal scouting ability. And a lot of problems in the league. Yeah. Um, we'll see what they do. That's what it's really going to come down to. We'll see what they do. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I'm sure they have a plan in mind. And we'll see what it means. Right. But yep. it all comes down to what is it? And we will soon see what July 21st at the earliest we'll start to see what their plan is. That is the yep. expansion draft. We will right. then what their true plan is. Are they planning on getting younger? Are they planning on rebuilding? What is their plan? Um, you know, and that's what it really comes down to. Yeah. Um, because everybody's playing it safe with Seattle coming in. Yeah, they are. Now, with that being said, we have looked at Nashville's cap situation. On the flip side of that coin, that drops LA's cap to 15 million. Yeah. Where now they have uh, quite a bit of picks. They did have a pick to work with. Um, and uh, in, in this draft in the second, and they also have Pittsburgh's third um, next year. Yeah, they do. Uh, them giving up their picks is kind of how you put it. You could have gave up Pittsburgh and, and, and St. Louis and pick to Nashville and said, here you go. Yeah. But no, they gave up theirs, which is the earlier pick in the draft. Well, the question right. you ask yourself is why? Well, the one thing that you got to really look at for them is who do they got to sign? Well, when you look at who they got to sign, they really don't have to sign anybody this year. You still got Quick. You still got Cal Henderson. You got two mil, 2.6 mil dead cap. Yeah. Um, which is, de well, actually, overall, they have one million in buyout for Dion Vaduff. Oof. They're still paying him. Uh, you got Jeff Carter, 2.6 mil in, in dead cap. And uh, 900,000 in terminated penalty for Mike Richard. I mean, that's going beyond 2026-27. So, right. you're, you, you know, and we'll get more into this later next week when we drop our LA Kings video. Yeah. We are doing a breakdown of the LA Kings at this point, but uh, we got to be careful with how much info we give you. Sorry, we haven't got to that video yet, mm -hmm. but we've been trying to get to it. It's just uh, our uh, own, we have our own lives and personal stuff. And in NHL, we, in the NHL, we know we don't really have an off season. 
but we try to take as much time during the time that the players have off to take time with our family because right. we all come September to about this time next year, we're not going to have one. Right. You know, and that's a lot of time to not spend time with your family. You know, on, uh, alone uh, during the holidays, you know, how are we, you know, what if, you know, there's going to be times where we're going to have to, you know, say, hey, we can't do it just based off to our family. Right. That's not something we want to do, but if, for you guys, we do it because, you know, you guys show us a lot of love out there. So, you know, and our families show us love too, but they also understand that we're trying to make this something special. Right. For you guys, we do that every day. I could be at a fireworks show right now with my family, but I'm here right now. And, you know, that's what a job is. Sometimes you got to miss out. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, for us, we're really, really happy with how this has gone this year and this off season so far. We're growing in subscribers, growing in likes, growing in yeah. Our Instagrams and Twitters are constantly growing. We're doing yeah. really well, surprisingly, <laughs> mm -hmm. for ourselves right now. And we're really happy to have everything going on that we do. You know, we're really happy yeah. that, you know, our city is booming. Milwaukee Brewers are in the lead in the Central. The Bucks are in the playoffs. The, you know, the, the local uh, racing around here at Road America got NASCAR Cup Series. Uh, Slinger Speedway got SRX. The Wave are coming back and trying to reassert their dominance into the MASL. You've got the Admirals coming back, and we will be doing a video of theirs coming soon, probably in the middle of July. We've got right. so much going on in the city right now to be proud of that we're pro and we're proud of ourselves at the same time because we're working our butts off for you guys and you guys keep show us love which is a form of appreciation so thank you everyone yes thank you the other thing for those of you that saying this trade is a bad trade i'll give you two pieces of info here one arvinson's decline in stats is not just a fluke thing if it was a fluke thing it would have lasted a year maybe right Months, maybe. Fluke things are months, not years. Something's wrong and something's off physically that he can't do what he used to do. Right. And it's not up to us to decide what that is. Right. So a change of scenery might be the best thing for him. Another thing about that is, is you don't have to protect him now. So now right. Santa Fe needs to protect him. And Seattle picks him up for nothing. Would you rather have two picks and potentially get another player for him? That may be something. May that be something? We don't know. You right. don't know with a hockey player till they're about twenty. So when you draft a guy in the second and third round, you're looking at twenty-one to twenty-four. Right. Yossi didn't make it until he was twenty-three. What I'm saying is that the most important part of all of this is you got to look at the aspect from the from the uh, uh, business side of things you do and the fan side of things now here's the thing i'm going to say this rv was one of my favorites me too everybody here in milwaukee loved rv if you think we're kidding give me a second <laughs> We loved RV so much that we made a bobblehead for him after he was gone. Yeah. The Admirals fans, some of us, loved him so much, we went down to Nashville just to get his bobblehead. That's how much Admirals fans cared about RV. Much like yeah. Becca is a, is a hockey god here, for, for lack of a better term, for a goalie. Pekka is probably the best goalie we've had come through our system in a, in a very long time. 
So it's probably says Mark LaForest, and most people don't even know who Mark LaForest is because, well, you got to be older than 30 to know who Mark LaForest is and been paying attention to hockey your whole life. Hockey for us, for some of us, I can't speak for John, but I can speak for me. <laughs> Hockey is not just a sport. For me, it's a way of life because this is what I do. I live this. This is what I. This is what I'm good at. Always been good at. It. So for me, it's all I know. And in a workplace, hockey knowledge doesn't really get you much. No. Unless you're working in media, which is why I started this. Yep. I mean, I really didn't have many other skill sets after college playing, you know, I, I didn't, and, and I didn't want to go back to school for a media degree to work in sports because I couldn't afford it. Right. <laughs> as we both, <laughs> but as we're saying, you know, uh, that game's final. The Brewers just beat the Pirates. But as we were just saying, um, by the way, go Nashville Sound. Go ahead. Um, but other than that, you know, I don't like the trade from a personal side, but from a business side, it makes a ton of sense. Yes, it does. You know, sometimes as fans, and, and our show is by fans, for fans, for a reason, so that you yeah. understand that as fans, yes, we could take it to that extreme of being mad at them. And yes, trust me, when I first saw it, I was mad. But then I looked at it a little bit. And right. I read the comment from Coyle, and, and, and he really did make sense because he said, why protect, you, you, you're not, I can't protect him. Yeah. I have to protect these younger players. I have to protect our future. Yeah. And that's, you know, whether we like the player he's protecting or not, more than RV, gotta understand that we gotta grow to like that player. We gotta right. to understand that this is business and money's involved. We have a flat cap till possibly 2023, 24. So you're right. talking, we're gonna be at 81 million to let. If we're gonna be stuck at that, we do not wanna be overpaying guys at this point. And RV and Duchesne and Johansson are all overpaid. The only guy that's worth his money is Yossi. Right. And Yossi had a down year, but that's because of the nasty little shot he took from one of the Red Wings. Yeah. So with that being said, I think that at this point, um, we're all looking forward to see what this brings. We're all looking forward to see what happens going down in the future. But right now, we can only look to tomorrow. And tomorrow... Um, we are dropping a video called AHL Arena. Yeah. We grade every AHL Arena. So that will be dropping tomorrow. As well as you guys may, may will see breakdowns from us this this uh, week. Uh, you guys are getting back-to-back -back days videos of us uh, grading things. Because uh, on Saturday, we're dropping the uh, ECHL uh, home jersey grading video. We yeah. spent a good four hours recording for you guys over the last week. So um, yeah. we've got plenty of uh, content coming for you. It's just it took some time to get done, edited, and done properly. Um, so I hope you guys can understand that we're trying to give you the best quality and stuff going forward. We will see you guys probably Monday, maybe Tuesday with our breakdown starting um it all depends on what we got going on now tuesday if you see us you uh comment on our page john will post that or later or later in the day but comment on our page on that john will post on tuesday if you don't see us tuesday or monday on why so you'll see it yeah um so going forward next the next week we will not be doing any videos outside of the one on the stick we have a scheduled video that day um, particular so that day is a particular that week is scheduled is all slated around that particular video and we have a draft breakdown video coming that Friday yeah. so 
all those videos. We have a lot of stuff coming your way. We're just trying to make it work. So we'll see you guys later. Me and him are about to go celebrate. See y'all later.